Hi everyone, it's Gloria and I'm here with Lily Beth. I know it's been a while since you've heard from me, but in light of all that is going on in our country and the world right now, I just wanted to come on and um, I think everyone needs a, a ray of hope in this situation. And I want to remind everyone, particularly those of faith, that the Bible addresses uh, things like this. And so I wanted to just uh, read to you a few verses uh, from the Bible that hopefully will give you uh, some encouragement in the days ahead, of uh, the days ahead, excuse me. First is uh, 2 Timothy 1 through 7 which says, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. Uh, I think we all need to really be aware of that in these days. Um, I know that there's a lot of anxiety out there because of the situation. But we need to remember that this did not take God by surprise. He is well aware of our situation. And uh, we just need to trust in him, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And uh, I believe that he will get us through these times and the trials of our lives. And one of the main scriptures that is helpful in a situation like this uh, if you co could commit it to memory, but if not, if you just have it handy um, on a little card and anytime you're feeling anxious about something, uh, I need just a little encouragement. It is Psalm 21 and, excuse me, Psalm 91, and I'm uh, reading from the NIV version of the Bible. It says, Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fouler snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say the Lord is my refuge and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. My, oh my, what wonderful, wonderful words of encouragement from our Lord. And I'm hoping that as uh, the days go forward, that you all will um, turn to the Holy Scriptures and turn to prayer in this time of uh, our need. And uh, just uh, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And uh, really, that's all I wanted to say today. I just wanted to give you a word of encouragement. Don't forget that God is in charge. He knows everything that is happening. Just call on him in your hour of need. And um, I hope that I can make another video pretty soon. Uh, I wanted to show you that I have Lily Beth dressed in the Carter's 
vintage line, which is the Little Rose line. She has on a onesie, and of course the little stuffed toy here is the rosebud that goes with this line, and the rosebud bonnet and blanket. And I just think she's awfully sweet, and she certainly looks um, comfortable, and uh, she looks as if she doesn't have a care in the world right now. So anyway, I will leave uh, that with you, and um, I just hope that everyone is all right, and uh, pray that your faith will sustain you in the days ahead. So I send love and hugs and many blessings from Gloria and Lily Beth, and of course I've got my Molly cat. She's sound asleep over here. You know, she's never far from me, and I will talk to you again really soon. Bye-bye, everybody.